Education has a massive impact on everyone when it comes to the quality of their life. And one of the most important aspects in deciding where to live for many families is the quality of the schools. So if you are wondering where to move your family or you are just curious like me, stick around because in today's video, we are going over the states with the best education. What's going on everybody? My name is Trey and welcome to my channel, Just Curious. In today's video, we are going over the states with the best education according to US News and the National Center for Education Statistics. So don't complain to me for this list. I am simply going over the data for your entertainment and I have no bias whatsoever. This list does not include factors such as higher education and only includes kindergarten to 12th grade. When you add in higher education, the results are completely different. So definitely keep that in mind when I go over the top 10. The factors on this list that determine the rankings include college readiness, which is determined by ACT and SAT scores, high school graduation rate, the National Assessment of Education Progress or NAEP math and reading scores, and preschool enrollment rates. This is a very interesting list with scores all over the place in different categories, so be sure to watch until the end because some of the states on this list are very surprising. For instance, Iowa has the number one graduation rate in the country but ranks 24th overall because of scoring lower in the other areas. So the other factors obviously play a major role in the US News' rankings. Now before we get started with the list, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more top 10s like this one. And with that said, let's see which states rank the highest in education. First up at number 10, we have the state of Virginia. I've mentioned Virginia a few times in my videos before and it is usually for good reasons. Overall, Virginia is a good place to live for many reasons and ranks highly in opportunity, healthcare, and it also has a much lower crime rate than many other states. When it comes to education rankings, Virginia is tied with four other states for fifth place in math scores, 14th in preschool enrollment, 17th in graduation rate, 22nd in college readiness, and 30th in reading scores. Next up at number nine, we have the state of Indiana. This one is a bit of a surprise to me, but at the same time, I can see why it ranks highly in education. Indiana is in the middle of the road with many rankings when it comes to places to live, but it does rank highly in opportunity. And I do agree with that considering I started and sold a successful business there many years ago. I also attended high school and college in Southern Indiana, and I do feel like it did set me up for success. Also, Signature School in Evansville, Indiana, where I'm from, is actually the number one rated high school in all of Indiana. And when it comes to education rankings, Indiana is ranked ninth in math scores, 10th in reading scores, 13th in college readiness, 14th in graduation rate, and all the way down at 43rd in preschool enrollment, which is really the only flaw that it has when it comes to education. Coming in at number eight, we have the state of Wisconsin. Wisconsin is another one of those states that are ranked highly in a lot of areas and education definitely plays a key role in that. It is also rated fairly high in healthcare and opportunity, which gives the state a nice boost as well. When it comes to education, Wisconsin is ranked fourth in math scores, sixth in reading scores, eighth in graduation rate, but then has a steep fall off being ranked 32nd in college readiness and 39th in preschool enrollment but it seems that being in the top 10 in three critical categories puts it up high enough over many other states. Next up at number seven, we have the beautiful state of Colorado. Colorado is a great state overall, but it does have a very high cost of living, which can turn many people away from the state, but it does rank in the top 10 in multiple areas and has a great economy and high quality healthcare. Colorado is also a very active and healthy state with plenty of outdoor activities to partake in year round, now, when it comes to education, Colorado is ranked sixth in college readiness, sixth in reading scores, 12th in preschool enrollment, 16th in math scores, and here's a shocker, it ranks 44th in high school graduation rate, which is very surprising to me for a state with such high testing scores and doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but hey, it's still in the top 10 states when it comes to education regardless. Next up at number six, we make our way back to the Midwest to Illinois. When most people hear Illinois, they think Chicago, which makes up about 21% of the population for the state. Illinois is another one of those middle of the road states that are ranked highly in some areas and poorly in others, which tend to balance it out. But anyways, when it comes to education, Illinois is ranked second in college readiness, eighth in preschool enrollment, 13th in reading scores, 22nd in math scores, and 24th in the high school graduation rate. 
coming in at number five, we have the highly rated and beautiful state of Vermont. Vermont just seems to keep making it in the top 10 for almost every category when it comes to the places to live. You honestly can't really go wrong with Vermont if you can get past the harsh winters and it just barely missed out on my top 10 states to live video coming in at 11th place. Now when it comes to education, Vermont is ranked second in preschool enrollment, tied at fourth in reading scores, tied at fifth in math scores, 12th in college readiness, and comes in at 29th with the high school graduation rate. Another surprisingly low rate for such a highly rated state when it comes to education, but overall Vermont is an excellent place to attend school. Next up on the list at number four, we have the state of New Hampshire. I am sure you all are getting tired of me talking about how nice New Hampshire is, but dang, it just keeps making it on my list for great reasons and overall it's just a very nice place to live. New Hampshire has the lowest crime rate of any state, it has a beautiful environment, and it ranks highly in basically every category other than infrastructure. And when it comes to education, New Hampshire is one of the best yet again, ranking fourth in reading scores which is tied with Vermont, also tied with Vermont at fifth in math scores, seventh in preschool enrollment, eighth in college readiness, and 11th in the graduation rate. Coming in at number three, we have the state of Connecticut. Surprisingly, Connecticut is one of the states that has never made it onto any of my lists before. Some positives would be that it has a very low crime rate and it also has some of the best healthcare in the United States. Some negative things would be the cost of living and it also has very low opportunity. But overall, it is a good state to live in. When it comes to education, Connecticut is ranked first in college readiness, second in reading scores, third in preschool enrollment, ninth in math scores, and 13th in the high school graduation rate. As we can see, Connecticut definitely excels when it comes to education and cracks the top 10 in nearly every category. Next up at number two, we have the state of Massachusetts. Just like New Hampshire, Massachusetts seems to crack the top 10 in all positive categories as well. The state is ranked in the top five in terms of the economy, having a low crime rate, and excelling with the second best healthcare in the United States. Just like any other very nice place, its main downfall would be the high cost of living and the terrible traffic around Boston. But other than that, you really can't go wrong here. In terms of education, Massachusetts is ranked first in math scores and first in reading scores, fourth in college readiness, fifth in preschool enrollment, and 16th in the high school graduation rate. When it comes to those rankings, I can't believe there is another state that is ranked higher, but surprisingly, there is. Before we move on to the state with the best education, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video so far. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more top 10s like this one. It really helps out the channel when you like and subscribe so I can continue making new videos for you all and I would appreciate it more than you can imagine. Now with that said, let's move on to number one. Coming in at number one for the state with the best education, we have New Jersey. I honestly had no idea New Jersey was so highly rated in terms of education. I feel like the state gets a bad reputation from shows like the Jersey Shore and other forms of entertainment. But overall, New Jersey has some excellent things about it. A couple of other good things would be that it has a very low crime rate and has excellent health care. When it comes to education, New Jersey is the only state that ranks in the top five in every category on this list. It ranks first in preschool enrollment, second in math scores, second in reading scores, second in graduation rate, and third in college readiness. As we can see, New Jersey has a very impressive school system and is the runaway winner when it comes to education. Okay everybody, that does it for today's video on the states with the best education. I hope you enjoyed the video today and if you did, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. In my next video, I will be going over the states with the worst rated education, so be ready for that because it should definitely be pretty interesting. But that does it for me, everybody. Thank you for watching today, and as always, I wish you nothing but the best.